Today we're going to be looking into the wonderful world of doll assault rifles, the most perfect assault rifles ever, literally. I mean, they have the most positively satisfying sound effects when you shoot them, and they'll just have you feeling good. If you happen to stumble upon a COV camp with one of these in your hands, it'll be a catastrophe for them. And if I haven't persuaded you yet, well, they're named after cats. Alright, now that the cat puns are out of my system, let's get started. So in this one, like every other one before it, we're strictly going to be looking at all of the parts that will spawn on non-uniques and non-legendaries. Uniques and legendaries have their own special parts, which we're not going to look at here. Let's start with the firing modes. Doll weapons come with alternate firing modes, where you can swap between two out of a possible three firing types, which include fully automatic fire, burst fire, and semi-automatic fire. You can get any combination of two of these. Now, fully automatic fire takes priority over the other two, and by this I mean if you get a gun with fully automatic fire, that will be your default firing mode. If you get burst fire and semi-automatic fire, then burst fire will be the default. This is important because your scope will change depending on which firing mode you are using, so the higher zoom will go to the secondary fire rate. We'll see the different scopes later on. The fire rate on your gun card will also be influenced by your primary fire mode. If you have two identical guns outside of the firing modes, and one has fully automatic as the primary while the other has burst fire as the primary, then the latter will show a faster fire rate on the card. Now we'll take a look at the body of the gun. All doll assault rifles are going to have the same body, no matter the rarity. The body can spawn with up to three accessories. The first accessory will provide an accuracy bonus of 15%. The second shown here will reduce your recoil width by 25%, and the third will decrease your reload time by 10%. Next we are going to take a look at the various barrels. These will provide the guns with their base stats, and there are four of these which give the guns their very ferocious names. The Caracal, the Jaguar, the Puma, and the Ingua. The last is the Alien Barrel variant of a Doll AR, and the first three are just normal barrels. We'll take a look at the Caracal Barrel first. When compared to the Jaguar and the Puma, this one has the second highest damage and second highest fire rate. It will also fire in four shot bursts when you roll burst fire on one. This is what the barrel looks like and it can come with three accessories. The first accessory will increase your damage by 10%. The second one shown here will also increase your damage by 10%. What you don't see here is that this accessory also includes a sight on the side of the gun. We'll take a look at this sight more in a bit, but for now here's a view of the sight from the other side of the gun where you can actually see it. And this is the last Caracal accessory, which will decrease your recoil height by 25%. Next, we'll take a look at the Jaguar barrel. This one will have the highest base damage of the three non-alien barrels, but also the slowest fire rate. It will also fire in three-shot bursts with burst fire. Here's the barrel, and like the Caracal, it can also spawn with three accessories. The first accessory will provide an accuracy bonus of 15%. The second shown here will also provide an accuracy bonus of 15%. And the last one will increase your fire rate by 10%. It's kind of hidden here on the other side of the barrel, but you can see it in a better view here. The third barrel is the Puma barrel, which has the lowest damage of the three non-alien barrels, but the highest fire rate. It will also shoot in five shot bursts with burst fire. Here's what the barrel looks like. Like the other two before it, this one can come with three accessories. The first accessory will provide an accuracy bloom reduction of 25%. The second accessory will increase your fire rate by 10%, and the third will also increase your fire rate by 10%. Last but not least, we have the Ingwa Barrel, the Alien Barrel, which is going to turn your doll AR into a laser, pretty much anyways. The barrel on its own will provide you with a 20% magazine size increase, and purple variants will come with one accessory that will decrease your reload time by 10%. That's it for the barrels, and now we're going to take a look at the two bolts that you can get. You'll either get one that gives you a 15% accuracy bonus, or one that increases your fire rate by 10%. And that's it for the bolts, pretty simple. The next part we'll look at will be the grip, which isn't as simple because there are so many of them. Six, in fact, that we'll look at relatively quickly. The first will decrease your accuracy bloom by 20% and will increase your damage by 5%. The second will decrease your recoil height by 15% and provide a 20% accuracy bonus. The third is going to decrease your recoil width by 30% and give you a fire rate increase of 5%. The fourth will decrease your reload time by 5% and increase your critical damage by 10%. The fifth grip will decrease your weapon sway by 30% and just quickly, it looks like this is a bug with weapon sway being listed here twice because it's listed twice whenever weapon sway reduction is on a part. Anyways, this one also gets a magazine size increase of 10%. 
The weapon sway decrease and magazine size increase come at a cost of a damage decrease of 5% and an accuracy penalty of 10%. The last grip will give you a 30% weapon sway decrease and a 15% recoil height decrease. You can see, again, weapon sway is listed here twice. That's it for the grips, now we'll take a look at the four grips, of which there are five. The first is going to decrease your recoil height by 30% and increase your accuracy by 10%. The second will give you a 30% recoil height decrease and decrease your reload time by 5%. The third will decrease your recoil width by 15% and increase your damage by 5%. The fourth foregrip will decrease your weapon sway by 30% and will decrease your accuracy bloom by 30%. And the last foregrip will also decrease your weapon sway by 30% but will increase your fire rate by 5% instead of decreasing accuracy bloom. There is also the possibility that your gun spawns without a foregrip. How unfortunate. Next, we'll take a look at the three magazines. The idea behind magazines in this game is that the larger the magazine size is, the less damage the gun deals, and doll ARs are no different. One more hidden effect here is that they will change your base reload time, which we'll look at with each one. So the first magazine is a 24 round magazine, which will provide a 10% damage increase. It will also give you a base reload speed of 2.4 seconds. The second is a 32 round magazine that will provide no bonuses or penalties and will set your reload time to 2.6 seconds. And the third magazine will have 45 rounds, but will decrease your damage by 10%. This one will give you the longest reload time at 3.1 seconds. Next, we'll take a look at the various scopes. Not including the Caracal barrel accessory, there are three pairs of scopes. Well, four, but I'll explain that. So the first one will have 1.5 times zoom for the primary fire mode, and then 5 times zoom for the secondary fire mode. The second will have 2.2 times zoom for the primary fire mode, and 5 times zoom for the secondary fire mode. And the third will have 2.9 times zoom for the primary fire mode, and 4 times zoom for the secondary fire mode. The fourth one will have one sight, which the game recognizes as iron sights, for both fire modes. Now if you have the Caracal sight accessory and no other scope, then the primary fire mode will use this sight, and the secondary one will use the Caracal sight on the side of the gun. If you do get one of the first three pairs of scopes, you will also get a rail on your gun that the scopes sit on. These don't appear to provide any bonuses, but I figured I would just show them off. This is the first, this is the second, and this is the third. Now we come to the elements. Doll ARs can spawn with all five elements, these being fire, shock, corrosive, cryo, and radiation. However, most of the time you will probably see no element. Here's a table with all of this information. I link a spreadsheet with all of this info along with all of the other info for other parts as I get through them below in the description. That's it for Doll ARs guys, see ya!